All right, counter punch boxing, and we're back with another one. Okay, look, today I want to run down the, the top five opponents we have for Canelo Alvarez coming up in 2017. Um, you know, I kind of weird because I put together a list of who I might think uh, or who I thought that, that they might come up with, uh, who, who Golden Boy Promotion might give us. And the list that they put out, they kind of leaked out. Um, it's kind of the official, unofficial list um, is really similar to my list. So uh, we know Co uh, Canelo won the WBC, the vacant, uh, the vacant WBC from Miguel Cotto in 2015, uh, went on to uh, defend that belt uh, against Canelo, or uh, against uh, Khan, Amir Khan, you know, a guy, a light welterweight, guy only had three fights at welterweight, uh, you know, pulled him up from light welterweight, fighting or defending the middleweight belt, you know, Canelo coming in at light heavyweight, crazy situation then he moves on to fight liam smith broke his right thumb and here we are today wondering what happens next now i put out a video um about a week ago kind of like an update on uh on golovkin and you know same thing with him uh now both guys have three fights in 2017 um, now, I think the original fight that we're going to get in the beginning of the year is going to be a tough, or it should be a tough fight for both guys. Uh, you know, and really, I mean, they need they need to really acclimate Can uh, Canelo. Uh, you know, they need to they need to get him in the ring with a real middleweight. Um, you know, acclimating him with Amir Khan and Liam Smith, you know, 154 pounder, that is not acclimation. Uh, you know, so hopefully, you know, they're going to get him in there with with a real middleweight to prepare him for a Gennady Golovkin fight. If not, I mean, he's going to get annihilated by the end of the year. Um, and I'm a little bit skeptical the fight is even going to happen. One minute, guys. That light's blinding me. Um, okay, so like I said, I came up with my own list, but I want to give you... Uh, you know the list that the Golden Boy has kind of put out there as well, and a lot of a lot now a lot of websites are reporting on it. Uh, number one, David Lemieux, and I'm going to kind of quickly read what they wrote about him. Um, I'm trying to run out the door here. Actually, I have two more videos uploading right now, uh, kind of that'll get a little bit you know deeper into it, uh, break it down that kind of thing. But David Lemieux. Okay, this this could be an option for Canelo's next fight. Lemieux is a huge puncher, though. He might be too risky for Canelo, given that he's coming off an eye injury. Even if Canelo hadn't been injured in his last fight uh, against Smith, Lemieux is a risky opponent. Uh, da -da -da -da, Canelo, Canelo is not hard to hit. <laughs> he's not, you know, Canelo can be hit, um, and he likes and he likes to go on the road, you know, take a break rope a dope put his back against the ropes if canelo does that against lemieux you know he might get taken out with a hook or a right you know he might he might be in trouble okay david lemieux um a guy i always kind of felt they were going to match uh, canelo up with both fight for golden boy um and they had a little you know in my opinion um kind of a shady thing go down in 20 uh 2015 where lemieux didn't make weight uh then popped up on the undercard you know so I don't know. I, I always felt like they were going to, or we would get a David Lemieux, Canelo Alvarez fight. Okay. Number two, Curtis Stevens. Okay. Uh, Canelo would be in a danger against a hard puncher like Stevenson's for one or two rounds before Stevenson's fade, fades out like he did in his last fight against James De La Rosa. Um, you know, Steven, uh, man, Curtis Stevens, if he could get like a good conditioning coach, I mean, he'd be, he'd be a, you know, 10 times better. Uh, you know, he's got the heart, the will, the knowledge, the, the power, but uh, the guy gasses out. Um, you know, so that's the thing. If Canelo could get him to the midway point, no problem. Can I, that's a Canelo fight all day. Uh, number three, Gabriel Rosado. I think Rosado has a decent chance of fighting Canelo because Golden Boy can market the fight as another Puerto Rico uh, versus Mexico like they did with Canelo Cotto. I doubt that Golden Boy will care too much that Rosado having lost having lost in his last fight against Willie Monroe Jr. last September, I think they'll do the fight anyway and count on the casual boxing fan not having seen Rosado Monroe Jr. You know, so uh, they might pick him from a marketing 
standpoint that you know they can market the hell out of that fight right i mean uh you know it's a possibility okay billy joe saunders the hell something crawling on my damn leg damn it something crawling on my leg billy joe saunders not a chance in hell kel brook uh, I wouldn't be surprised at all if Golden Boy chooses to match Canelo against Brooke. The only problem in Canelo fighting Brooke are the potential risk of a surgically repaired right eye. Uh, they're worried about that right eye, uh, you know, pulling uh, <clears throat> Brooke out of the fight. Meaning, you know, well, if he's in camp, they're getting ready for the fight. Uh, Brooke gets injured in sparring. Now he can't make the fight, which is kind of a weird thing to worry about. In my, it's legit. I mean, okay, I get it, but I mean, there's like bigger things to worry about than that. So I don't get that. Willie Monroe Jr. This is not a likely fight for Canelo. Uh, but they've already talked. They've already made it public, public, uh, pub, you know, public knowledge. They don't want Willie Monroe Jr. What I think we're gonna get is probably Canelo, David Lemieux. Curtis Stevens or Rosado. Um, like I said, they need to get him in the ring with a real fucking middle weight. And no more of this bullshit, this Amir Khan, Liam Smith, we're tired of it. You know, and then, and I can tell you both guys, even Golovkin, they've already uh, kind of come, come out publicly and said, yeah, you know, we're going to take a tough fight early 2017 mid 2017 you know we're gonna we're gonna do a keep busy fight they said we're gonna fight you know uh, a local guy you know that's what they called a local guy um but yeah canelo man he needs to get ready for that fight um they need to stop bullshitting <laughs> with you know liam smith and whoever else the hell they're thinking uh but I, if i if i was golden boy promotion yeah definitely i'd, I'd probably go for lemieux curtis stevens first and then, uh, or even maybe David Lemieux, early 2017, Curtis Stevens in the middle, or, or, or Rosado, I don't know, Rosado, I mean, he can turn that into a war, into a battle, so you might want to be careful with that, but, uh, but yeah, I'm leaning towards David Lemieux, or, uh, Curtis Stevens, I think, is who we're gonna get early 2017, um, to get ready for, you know, the, the real middleweight fight, and, you know, you have a lot of these guys, let me read a few comments here, I don't want to make the video too long, I gotta, I gotta get out of here anyway, uh, Golovkin will be eating the right hand counters and uppercuts all night against Canelo, and the, the Triple G fans will claim he wanted to get hit, uh, these dumb motherfuckers, uh, and this guy, oh, they sure will, no question about it, you know, Golovkin nuthuckers, I mean, where where do these people live? Like, what, what do they do? What, like, how do they come up? I don't get it. How do they come up with this crap? Uh, I'm with you. The anti-Canelo group ignores Canelo's superior tactics that <laughs> will lead to a victory over Golovkin. Canelo doesn't leave unfinished jobs. No, what he does is he vacates like a bitch. That's what he does. I mean, come on, people. Oh, Canelo doesn't leave an unfinished job. I mean, really? He he vacated. I mean, he va ha ha. Whatever. Uh, you sound. I'm not even gonna read that. It's a little bit racist right there. Oscar's boys got a sign for the fight first. True, and I predict he does not last ten rounds. And the fraud will be exposed. He will probably outweigh him at least by ten, at least ten pounds. Okay, my kind of guy right there. Yeah, look, Canelo's gonna come in that ring like a like a Sergey Kovalev man. He's gonna come in there, you know, 180 pounds. I guarantee it. And uh, you know, Canelo he doesn't stand a chance. Not a chance. I mean, why do you think? Why do you think they're they they've drag you know drug it on as long as they have why do you think they're avoiding him why do you think canelo vacated uh you know and, and like i said i I'll, I'll be amazed if they take the fight and you know it's like I, i'm a little bit hesitant to even make a video like this because you know i'm like am i wasting my time talking about canelo i mean you know is he gonna run and duck and hide and you know mexico we don't fuck around da, da, da. well you're fucking around dude take the fight all right counter punch boxing we are out